In honor of Veterans Day, Bingham County entered the first phase of dedication for its Patriot Field. Many came out to witness the ceremony and ribbon cutting. Local News 8 reporter Fevin Kasahoon reports. It's a day of remembrance for those who have fought for our nation. Bingham County presented part one of the memorial dedication at Patriot Field. Lieutenant Governor Brad Little says he loves when communities do tributes on their own and says this memorial is one of the best that he's ever seen. Local touch is always important when it's got such a prominent place. I love the fact that the flags are all illuminated so you can see them at night. The fact that all the different branches of the service are represented and the fact that they've got a hometown uh, sculptor that'll be making uh, the lead sculpt sculpture there. The lieutenant governor said that's a great reminder for people to remember to honor those that have served our country. We have fewer and fewer people that serve in the military. You know, it's their families, it's the sacrifice they make. Uh, the guardsmen and women and the active military, it's the fact that their families are left behind. And it's important that they know that the communities support them. 20 year Air Force veteran Fred Saunders says this memorial seems more special than other memorials he's seen in Idaho. I think it's just outstanding. They made mention of the little one they had over by the courthouse door, and that just didn't get it done. This is uh, more elaborate. Uh, those up there, if you want to get into them, you have to buy a brick or something. Saunders says he's one of five in his family line to have served in the military. And even though he served, he says he honors his family today as well because they played a big role while he was overseas. It was a military family. I have a wife and five kids, and they are the ones that really served more than I did. I, they, I was gone a lot, and my wife was the mother and the dad. and and got the kids all raised. The second phase of the memorial will involve a sculpture and postering board. The fundraising goal for this is $110,000, and so far about $65,000 has been raised. If you would like to donate, you can call the county commissioners.